Yahuchanan John 8 Yahusha went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes in Parashim brought unto him a woman taken in adultery, and when they had set her in the midst, they said unto him, Rabbi, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moshe in the Torah commanded us that such should be stoned. But what say you? This they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. But Yahusha stooped down, and with his finger wrote on the ground, as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Yahusha was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Yahusha had lifted up himself, and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those your accusers? Has no man condemned you? She said, No man. <clears throat> Excuse me. And no man had the nigh. And Yahusha said unto her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Then spoke Yahusha again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And Parashim therefore said unto him, You bear record of yourself. Your record is not true. Yahusha answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true, for I know whence I came and whither I go. But ye cannot tell whence I come and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh. I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but I and the Father that sent me. It is also written in the statutes that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bears witness of myself, and the Father that sent me bears witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is your father? Yahusha answered, Ye neither know me nor the my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. These words spoke Yahusha in the treasury as he taught in the temple. And no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. Then said Yahusha again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Yahudim, Will he kill himself? Because he says, Whither I go, ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you, That ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, Ye shall die in your sins. Then said they unto him, Who are you? And Yahusha said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spoke to them of the Father. Then said Yahusha unto them, When ye have lifted up the son of Adam, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my father has taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. The father has not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. As he spoke these words, many believed on him. Then said Yahusha to those Yahudim which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my Talmudim indeed. 
and ye shall know at the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We are Avraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How say you, ye shall be made free? Yahusha answered them, Amen, amen, I say unto you, Whosoever commits sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abides not in the house forever, but the son abides forever, rather ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Avraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word has no place in you. I speak that etch, rather eth which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. They answered and said unto him, Avraham is our father. Yahusha said unto them, If ye were Avraham's children, ye would do the works of Avraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that has told you the truth, which I have heard of Yahweh. This did not Avraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even Yahweh. Yahusha said unto them, If Yahweh were your father, you would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from Yahweh. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. Because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convinces me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of Yahweh hears Yahweh's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of Yahweh. Then answered the Yahudim and said unto him, Say we not well that you are a shomoron e, and have a devil? Yahusha answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me. And I seek not my own glory. There is one that seeks and judges. Amen, amen. I say unto you, If a man guards at my word, he shall never see death. Then said the Yahudim unto him, Now we know that you have a devil. Avraham is dead, and the prophets... And you say, If a man guards up my word, he shall never taste of death. Are you greater than our father Avraham, which is dead? And the prophets are dead. Whom do you make yourself? Yahusha answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honors me, of whom ye say that he is your Elohim. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him, and if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him, and guard at his word. Your father Avraham rejoiced to see at my day, and he saw it, and was glad. Then said the Yahudim unto him, You are not yet fifty years old, and have you seen at Avraham? Yahusha said unto them, Amen, Amen, I say unto you. Before Avraham was Ahaya. Then took they up stones to cast at him, but Yahusha hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by.